Hello from above. Ah, maying adlaw ni tanan or good evening uh, sa akong mga, sa inyo mga amiga amigo. Uh, it's a chilling evening when uwan dere sa Cebu. Uh, mauni atong pinakauna na video analysis sa Philippine Stock Exchange. Uh, kasabot ko na uh, we have other Visayan uh, brethren here or perhaps in the future or even our northern brothers and sisters from Luzon or mga, yung mga, mga Tagalog, taga, Tagala natin na mga kababayan uh, who may have or had joined us. So um, just uh, set proper expectation. Uh, I'm gonna set uh, English and Bisaya mode of ins instruction to our analysis. Uh, I don't really speak Tagalog that much so it's hard for me to explain uh, you know ex discuss in, in Tagalog. So I'll just gonna switch from English and Bisaya. Alright? So um, the main purpose for our efforts, sa mga admin, sa ASM or sa Ascal sa Mercado, na si Sir Francis Wong, Ken, um, our one and only heart trouble dem Kapila, and yours truly is to at least involve or engage people in investing and trading in stock the right way and eradicating the stigma and the ignorance all right uh, forgive me from for saying this or pasailuako but filipinos are ignorant when it comes to money matters including stocks or any you know investment involved and in, you know when it comes to money in general well, Filipinos are really ignorant. I was ignorant. I've been there. My parents are. They've been there. I've learned from them. And that's the harsh reality. sakit na kamaturan. There are only, uh, come to think of it, there are only 1% of the total population. We're 100 million Filipinos. Less than 1% are engaged in the stock market. The reason? Ignorance. Ignorante. You try. You try. Ask or pangutana, mga tao, may mong kaila, people you know, ask them about stock market and whether they invest in it or have they tried it before. Try to ask them. You'd be surprised to the sheer number of people who doesn't know about it. Okay, so th that's so alarming. Other Asian countries, they have this in their curriculum, they study this, their kids study this. Filipinos are put to a position where we are still ignorant and our Asian neighbors are growing powers. Okay, so let's just say that this is how we show our patri uh, patriotism to our country, but at least uh, you know by 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 at, at least stimulating the economy while growing your network, your money, not the quick way. Uh, we're talking about you know hard way you know, earn learning uh, for investors. You know they're talking about long term traders. Uh, uh, there's more to it because uh, that's uh, you know Filipino mentality they want it quick but they don't have they don't know how to work hard for it okay so uh, there's a lot of topics that we can discuss and let's reserve that for some other time for some other videos perhaps uh, if you know we could uh, continue this uh, video analysis and so on uh, before we go, uh, before we go to our last week of the month or uh, the month of October's review for PSE, kindly read through the disclaimer.
Okay. Um, all right. We're uh, today's uh, the twenty third in the evening. I'm doing this, so uh, we're looking at what could happen possibly by next week uh, for our Philippine Stock Exchange Index and how it would affect in a majority of stocks. Okay. Uh, so for the PSE. We've closed. Uh, we've closed at seventy-six fifty and twenty-two cents, and it's a bearish, bearish engulfing candle. If you uh, take a look at our candle last Friday, it's a huge candle engulfing the totality of this hammer. Uh, it's also uh, one of uh, you know uh, our ham uh, last Thursday uh, sign as well that this uh, movement is at halt. So we're looking at a pullback, pullback this week, and most probably perhaps by even uh, midweek, uh, first week November, because we have a holiday. Namte holiday, so we like trading. Metabo, so we can expect uh, expect a uh, a pullback. Uh, for those who doesn't know what pullback means, or you know, bago pa masabot anam pullback is ni uh, ubusta. Uh, that's a normal thing. We we would be expecting, mag expect ng mga uh, ubus ang index sa stock exchange, because that's how uh, stock works. It fluctuates. It goes up and down, but atong purpose is to know when, how to determine when it would go down. So let's uh, first. Our first sign is our bearish engulfing candle, the red candle here. That's one thing, but that it's not absolute. We need to find other indications that that it could go down. So let's open up, open up our uh, moving average. So we have moving average 10, the orange. Moving moving average 20, the sky blue. Um, 50, the magenta. Uh, 100, uh, the dark green and black. For our moving average 200. So what does that mean? Okay. If long-term trends cross under uh, long-term trends, our long-term here are you know the 100 of the 200, and for short terms are 10 and 20. Uh, Mid-term is our 50. So right here, about here. We've already crossed our 50s. This was our ghost month right here. So it's expected. Expected that price action would go down on the ghost month. And our main reason, investors are out of the market. Global uh, uh, money managers are on holidays. So expect that ghost months would always uh, be bearish. Try to track a couple of years back, you would see a dip on August to September, even uh, uh, early November. Uh, that's ghost months. Uh, ghost months are Chinese uh, celebration. They don't, Chinese don't uh, spend money on those or any financial decision. They uh, decision. So try, try not to blame anyone, anyone at all. That's how ignorant people are. They, they they don't know what's happening, and they, you know, Filipinos try to blame someone, someone. Okay. So uh, let, let's uh, not discuss that. Let's go back to what uh, we uh, would probably see next week. So we have second indication. We've crossed our 100. 
moving average or 50 crossed crossed it confirming it uh, let's see four days uh, four days Tuesday there's a sign Friday last week uh, at Monday across Monday so it's <coughs> it's uh, showing that in the future price we sh we would see a a pullback pullback of the market so that's already that's already two indication for our possible pullback now let's add more let's add more to it let's see our waves let's use our Elliott waves okay let's pull out our waves alright Elliott wave um, for those who are not familiar with with Elliott waves uh, just a basic basic lang na information ang Elliott wave um, there are uh, according to to uh, uh, the theory there are five uh, five impulse wave followed by three corrective waves so th that's the basic uh, basic knowledge for elite waves there's more to it but let's not discuss that uh, maybe some other time I could discuss that but we're just looking at you know the trends how the market fluctuates and where would it where it would go so if we look at past price action starting f uh, if you can see my mouse uh, pointer starting Jan uh, what's this May 2015 16 May 10 we started a first wave move movement up followed by a, a pullback then another upward so th these are called impulse waves right here and it's five. One, two, three, four, five. And then correction. One, two, three, the ABC correction. So what does that tell us? It tells it tells us that if ever our Elliott wave is respected, both pasabot mo follow atong price action. Musunod siya sa atong trend musunod siya sa uso the picture would look like this since man na ato ang ABC correction wave probably another impulse wave would happen so this would be our first leg for that impulse waves then we see a pullback then probably most probably perhaps it would retest the market usually the third one is longer it's very long very strong so probably it would retest right here uh, resistance zone then it will pull back again and then um, upward uh, uh, I'm using one hand I can't use my other hand. Napi ang ni tesa. Ako sa move. Oh shoot. Move sa nako. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So that's our hypothetical scenario. Scenario uh, where the market will go if mo follow siya sa atong Elliott waves okay so this will be uh, our first wave our second uh, the leg uh, down that will be our week probably our week's action this week or perhaps early next week because holiday before it will uh, before it would rally back up okay so that's our third indicator that supports our theory okay so that we're having bigger chances of probability that they
pullback would happen. Pasabot ana there will be stocks, you know. We, we would see bloody stocks again. So if you know that then you don't have to panic like most people do who talks about stock market and doesn't even invest and trade in it. So that's how funny people look if they're talking about stocks and doesn't know it doesn't know a thing. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, why did I say it? Why did I say that it could pull back? No, we already have first indicator is the uh, bullish engulfing. Second, we have the uh, uh, crossovers or moving average crossover. Third is our um, uh, Elliott wave. So if we look at look back, uh, how powerful uh, Elliott waves are. Uh, s let's see this previous move. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So we have this move right here, January two thousand sixteen. Four wave, five wave, uh, five wave move up to our. Uh, I think this was the resistance. Yep, this was the resistance before, and then it moved back down and retest our resistance zone, and then it pulled back to our ABC correction or three corrections, and then. Then price action, price action move back back up. So that's leg one. So if we compare it here, this leg one here, and here, if it respects our our Elliott wave, ko iyaning sundot mo sunod siya sa trend sa also. So we have uh, uh, we have an ex this expectation that it would pull back. Okay, mo na inanara ka sa iyo na maguna-una. So you have more compelling reason to think that it will pull back for that particular re uh, you know for that particular um, indicator, the Elliott wave. And uh, bantay lang. Bantay lang po. Uh, if it does not follow at all any of our indication indicators, we should hold our support zone. Uh, what's this? Seven three uh, around seven three ninety five to seven to eighty seven to eighty around this zone. If ever. Uh, um selling or selling pressure increases we should su uh, support should hold here it should not go down <laughs> all right okay so we have Pilanaman bullish engulfing uh, crossovers moving average crossovers elite wave so that's three tolo um Dungagan Panato line. Dungagan Panato Gusta. Let's do our Fib uh, Fibonacci retracement tool. So we sw swing high. Let's uh, swing high. Uh, swing low to swing high. Swing low to swing high. Uh, go. Okay, so. <coughs> uh, so Mabago Fibonacci. That's a golden ratio. Um, it's uh, uh, to simp to put it simply, uh, price action moves up and down, or moves on a certain point of the Fibonacci levels. So if you see at the left side of it, 
night 23 60 percent 38 20 50 61 80 78 60 will bounce back na siya. if you if you look at this move 50 you go pull back pull back siya. you go just a support zone line sending support resistance zone pull back then balik na sa siya, 30 3280 down around 50 saka na po siya until 100 and so on so if we look back at our where we bounce off at this around 60 6180 we move to 3280 uh, 30 uh, 38 uh, sorry 38 20 percent so pull back we should see it around 50s before it would rally back up okay so this uh, this area right here has been hit so we would most probably see it pull back down around uh, 50 percent of our Fibonacci retracement tool so that's around 75 to uh, 7527 okay so compelling reasons you know no no why things happen uh, why price action or why uh, the stock moves that way you have to have. Uh, you need to have valid reasons. You, you just you just don't have to, you know. Kung sa bisaya pa, tira bahala, dila siya tira bahala. There there is a compelling reason why price action moves that way, and that's the use of our indicators. Okay, so expect expect it to pull back next week or until. Uh, second week or first week of November before we uh, move back back up so pasabot sa dana mga amigo mga amiga when price actions this is you know majority of big players or you know uh, operators um, and long term long time traders already or, or those who are investing they buy on that pullback Huna huna ah, barato kayo. Barato kayo ang presyo sa ista. Di ka mo palit. You buy it. You buy it. Baratong kilo sa baboy, you buy it. Although you still buy at a, uh, at a, you know, the regular price. We have regular price. We have high prices. Muragin ni siya tindahan. Na one stall of baboy na tag uh, dos uh, 250 250 a kilo na baboy dere ang 215 kilo mo na ng malls yan natay mga talang 200 200 ang kilo sakto ram presyo sa kanina merkado na nai usa sa merkado na barato ilang baboy baligya maybe perhaps they own they have you know their own supply their uh, own production so mo nang barato or most probably perhaps ni ubos lang ang presyo sa baboy so ikaw ikaw na cons consumer mo palit ka mo take advantage ka kung nay barato or sakto ang presyo barato or the, the price is right pero kung galante ka ato kag mall how okay, can said Okay, so, okay, most most of uh, people nangitawag na ton ipit they buy on on high prices and then what happen is they do average down okay they don't know they don't know why the prices is so high and then it suddenly dropped and then they have a lot of things to cover along the way but, but it's okay if you are doing it in the long term but I'm not gonna discuss fundamental analysis I'm more on the tech guy so 
technically te technically technically speaking we're, we're looking at you know price actions uh, we don't bother about news we, we don't uh, look at uh, good news though though it does take effect or it does have an effect on uh, on the market but you know the, the main thing is you have to validate your own charts you need to learn how to do charting understand price action be self-sufficient ignorant okay so just to recap we're looking at a pullback next week not a birra gamay balik tag gamay na presyo for our investors long-term investors to our group uh, if you're you know nanamui pundo if you try to buy your favorite stocks you can uh, look at this pullback Mo uh, most probably this is the best time for you to uh, bulk up your position again for long terms so uh, for traders um, try to uh, uh, be sharp be sharp look at uh, swings like this pullbacks uh, if you have uh, buying powers uh, try to you know look at individual stocks look at the trends if they will be if they get affected before you go in and always place your stops if ever if ever uh, uh, price action goes your way you know you need to have a trading plan uh, I cannot stress that enough and uh, yeah if you uh, like uh, what I'm doing the videos just share it to people you know again our main purpose for this is for us to extend this information to our brethren our Filipino people to mga higala at least if interesado sila they need they need they need to learn they need to learn it uh, it's free no one's paying me for doing this no one's paying us to respond to your questions no one is uh, you know uh, no, puta na nag wala gid wala gid mi makuha ni. Uh, gusto lang namo na makatabang, share our knowledge because it's also our uh, a practice for us to, you know, develop more. The more you learn uh, from people, you know, the more you would crave for knowledge, the more you want to know more about it. Try to discuss discussing discussing this uh, also helps us look at our game plan if there are loopholes it's a developing you know, constructive way it's it's all it's also a give and take relationship we share this information we have you might have information that we don't know uh, we merge information we share information post it post everything you have uh, don't be afraid uh, if you have analysis post it uh, that's that's good. It's a good practice. Post everything your your gains, your best uh, best trades. Uh, if you have losing ones, uh, try to look at where 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 you failed or what the mishaps you have in your trades. So that's it. I uh, hope you like this video and uh, share this to people you know and expect for more videos. If uh, I have all the time to do it. Uh, I just uh, thought of doing this because people uh, if I post uh, people don't understand what what I'm posting so it defeats the purpose so mining maayoning nai musulti binisaya pa kung namoy questions pangutan na unsa nang mga wa mo kabalo na term then we'll have some other time to discuss it mag discuss tana uh, through a video instruction on our own dialect with a mix of English guy uh, listen man mag Tagalog so alright okay guys uh, see you on the next video wherever I go wherever I see I'll remember yo if you remember